I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back, I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact, give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back delightful human beings and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here fine interrupt me we're at episode 96 everybody we're almost there <laughs> god oh. alrighty we got Jordan Devlin making his way inside the squared circle right here with the rest of the bar and speaking of the bar, uh, well, it seems to me that we've got ourselves a matchup here between Jordan Devlin and Chad Gable right here tonight. So that's exciting and all fine and well. Okay. <laughs> Shoot, I forgot to update this. Oh, oh I hate it here. <laughs> Look, I've been too busy trying to just film a bunch of videos today. I'm sorry, not sorry. You kind of get into a groove where it's like, all right, I'm going to, like, take a break for a few minutes, set up the match, just take another break, you know, whatever, right? <sighs> we'll get it fixed in time for WrestleMania, I promise. <laughs> God. What a mess, right? Right. But people, we got five episodes to go until WrestleMania. And we got four more to go until episode 100. So, yay. Because I think Monday Night Raw, that's, so the next episode is 97. The following NXT is 98, 99, and then the the go home episode of NXT is going to be episode 100. I can't wait, everybody. I can't wait. But here we go. We got Gable versus Devlin. This should be quite a good matchup right here. Beautiful Spanish fly into the cover goes Devlin. Of course, Chad Gable picking up a huge win against number one contender Finn Balor, and that has led. To Ooh, sorry. That has led to Alpha Academy earning a tag team a tag team title opportunity at WrestleMania against Legado del Fantasma. So that's all fun and exciting. Oh boy! Huge tag right to the knee. And Chad Gable taking down Devlin right here. They got their respective teams in their corner. Can't imagine the signing well, right? Oh boy. Oh! Cesaro seemed pumped right there. Ready, Willing, and Gable. Love that for them. Huge suplex. Oh boy. Okay. I'm gonna really need to have to sit down, like, with my universe no doc and just, like, figure out what we're doing after WrestleMania. Because, like, I have an idea. It's just a matter of, like, how do we execute this, right? It's one of those situations. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Kick right to the back of the leg for Devlin. Oh boy. What's gonna happen here? What's gonna happen here? Oh! Huge knee, or huge kick, huge knee thing to Jordan Devlin. I don't know when this episode's gonna be out. I'm hoping Friday, maybe? I'm hoping to do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday schedule for this week. Because I'm like, okay, maybe the following week we'll do. 
Yeah, I'm thinking we'll do this. Uh, so this episode might be out on Friday, so the 6th. And then that way next week we could do the four episodes leading up to WrestleMania. And then the rest of January is pretty much just going to be WrestleMania. I'm going to be 100% real. <laughs> That's probably what's going to happen. That's kind of the roadmap right now. Unless if I get everything filmed sooner. Which is, that's a possibility, but I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to overdo it. Oh, boy. Oh, what a strike from Devlin right there. Huge splash right there from Devlin to Gable. Oh, what a kick out right there from Chad Gable. Oh, and he's got the headbutt. He's got the headbutt. He's going for it. Oh! God, that could very well be it, but Jordan Devlin looking for something once again. Jordan Devlin might have it here. Devlin side connects. That might be it for Chad Gable. But Gable kicks out. We might need a petition for Chad Gable to challenge for the Intercontinental Championship in Universe Mode or something. Seriously, he's been crushing it. He has been crushing it in these th in these singles matches. Truly. Love our first women's money bank qualifying matchup in the main event as well. We'll have Saray versus Dewdrop versus Io Shirai versus Liv Morgan. So that's going to be quite an interesting matchup. A nice clash of styles. A good mesh of styles. And Chad Gable now going in for the cover right here after the splash right there after the diving attack onto Jordan Devlin, but Devlin kicks out. Oh boy. So rest assured, by the end of January, we will have everything through WrestleMania pretty much up, so that's fun. Oh boy. Chad Gable. Oh no, not the fingers. Dude, WrestleMania is going to be so long. Holy crap. I'm like, I got to make sure that we have that ish ready to go when we go to post it. Because like, I like to have all the specials like do back to back to back days. So I'm like, great. We got two nights of WrestleMania. So far we're looking at at least like on my little document, it says like 16, 17 matches. So I'm like, okay, if we split that up into two... That's got to be at least six, seven, eight videos, something like that. Because we got ladder matches. We got at least two ladder matches with the freaking Money in the Bank ladder matches. So we got to keep that in mind as well. We're going to go with what feels right going into WrestleMania. Right, right. Oh my god, I think that was the timekeeper. He just like ran for it. I'm like, dude, I don't blame you. I would be the exact same way. I'd be like, I'm out of here, people. I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> I mean, you know, I could see that being a risk, too. I don't know how any of that works. Like, go timekeeper. Here we go. What a counter right there from Devlin. What an incredible opening matchup that we're seeing here tonight. These two bring it all to the table here in the ring. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, what a move. And Devlin now going in for the cover. Could this be it? Oh, but the rope break. Wait a second. Did we have a rope break in the last episode? I don't think we did. It's, it's a very rare thing. It's a very rare thing for us to have episodes where we don't have any rope breaks. <laughs> there we go. Somebody pieced together how many episodes we had where we had no rope breaks happen. It's probably like, I'm going to guess five. I'm being generous probably, but five seems to be about right, I feel like. I know we got two for sure. We got one or two. One, two. Oh, and Devlin kicks out once again. Oh boy. Oh god, what a huge slam right there from Chad Gable. Truly an underrated person in WWE. Like, 
you, you, this dude will just take something, like, and just run with it. And honestly, those are some of the more memorable ones. It's like, it, it might seem really stupid on paper, or just questionable on paper, but they somehow make it work. That is a skill in and of itself. Beautiful German suplex right there into the cover. Could this be it? Oh, and Devlin kicks out. Oh, the referee just glitched out. Love that for us. Love this for love this for them. And Jordan Devlin now with the counter. And Devlin now with another counter. These two are just beating the crap out of each other. I love it. They are just putting it all out there on the table. We're living for it. Jordan Devlin hits it again. Into the cover now, into the cover, into the cover. And Jordan Devlin picks up a huge win against Chad Gable here tonight. Kind of earning an opportunity for the bar to get their own. Oh, wait, why is Cesaro in here? There's, there's some tension. There's some tension, everybody. There is some tension in this group. Oh, boy. Well, Jordan Devlin has earned the bar a spot in that tag team triple threat match. Now, anyway. So it'll be Alpha Academy versus the bar versus... Versus the tag team champions. Legato like Del Fantasma. So that'll be quite a fun matchup. It'll be interesting to see who in the bar will represent like, you know, the bar at Wrestlemania. Oh boy. I'm like, what's happening? What did I press? I've heard a noise. So we'll see what happens moving ahead. And I think Jordan Devlin also has a Money in the Bank opportunity coming up in a couple of episodes as well. The men's Money in the Bank ones are going to be on the last episode, like the Go Home episode, I think. But either way around, we got something going on backstage again, because why wouldn't we have something going on backstage? Let's take a look-see, shall we? Oh my god, freaking Bob is back? Oh Jesus, take the wheel. Bobby Lashley is going right for LA Knight, the NXT Intercontinental Champion. Bob, you have a match at WrestleMania against Goldberg. What are you doing here? What What is this dude up to? I'm concerned. I'm very concerned. Just like how I, okay, I'm trying to read. I, this is how distracted I get once in a while. I'm reading the freaking boxes. <laughs> I just realized there was stuff written on the boxes. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, God. This is this is where we're at, y'all. This is exactly where we're supposed to be, right? Right. Oh, boy, Uncle Howdy. <laughs> I, these two faced off in that last man standing match, and, and Bob's still coming back. We're, this is going to be the return of Bob, right? It's like he's just obsessed with this title. E either he's obsessed with the title or he's obsessed with LA Knight at this point. And I can't figure out which one it is. <laughs> or both. It could be both. I'm not mad at it. This has been one of the longest feuds that we've had. So, I don't know. Oh my god. We need to get some security back here. Oh boy. Oh no. Bob's got a chair. I really do need to make like an end of the year award thing. Because it's like, we're going to keep going until we get to 2K23. Because I'm like, I've got it mentally mapped out. Right? It's just a matter of putting it on paper and filming this at this point. <laughs> I've, got, I've got at least a few more months of ideas in my brain. <laughs> it's just a matter of, well, I didn't have the time, and now I do have the time. Because we're going to be into winter, and we're all going to be sitting around not doing a whole lot. <laughs> Well, I mean, we are going to be doing things, right? It's just a matter of, I'm going into hibernation mode for a couple months, even though I love winter. And, you know, we, we like being comfy and cozy in this household. And I'm like, look, we got a little bit more time before we get to 2K23. So, we might as well have some fun, right? Right. Oh, no. Oh! God, he, dude, he just like he just slammed him right on the chair and the concrete. My, I'm, I'm in pain. Oh no! Wait, what? 
but they're both still standing. How does this make any sense at all? <laughs> they're both still standing. I guess they're going to the commercial break before the next match. I don't know, y'all, but we got the main event to get to. Um, so let's let's get to it. We'll 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 keep you posted on what on the ongoing shenanigans. All right, everybody, here we go. Before we get into this matchup right here, we got a big announcement regarding, well, the shenanigans that just took place. It looks like the Intercontinental Championship will be on the line as LA Knight defends the NXT Intercontinental Championship against... Okay, fine. We Not like we were trying to say anything. Like I was saying, LA Knight will defend against not one... But two opponents. He's been inserted into the Bob Lashley and Goldberg match. Oh boy. <laughs> that that's that's gonna be interesting. We're gonna have to see what happens there because we've seen Goldberg and Bobby Lashley kind of fighting, and Bobby Lashley and LA Knight have been fighting. We haven't seen LA Knight versus Goldberg, which I don't know if we want that or not, but here we are. But we've got the Women's Money in the Bank qualifying matchup, y'all. The winner of this matchup will join Dana Brooke at the WrestleMania Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Y'all, I don't know if we're going to continue past WrestleMania or not, because we're, we're into January. <laughs> we're, we're into January, and I'm like, do we do in my GM? Like, what, what are we going to do? <laughs> Because <laughs> we're almost to WrestleMania. I almost want to do my GM to kind of filler, to use as filler. Because I'm like thinking about when the release date was. For 2K22. Give me a second here. I remember it was early March. March 8th, 20, 2022 was the 2K22 release date. So I'm wondering if they're going to keep to that sort of date for um, for 2K23. Because I, I, I believe it's been confirmed, right? Like, it's it's going to be a thing. Oh boy. This is this has been by far my favorite universe mode because of just how many shenanigans that have been involved and we have somehow turned this into nearly a hundred freaking episodes. It's it's just unreal to me. This match is unreal to me, this whole entire thing is unreal. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Io Shirai joining the mix right here. But yeah, um, if 2K23 is happening, we're going to factor that into the plans as well. I'm just going to film the rest of Universe Mode as much as I humanly can. But it's like, I also have plans that I would like to see happen, if at all possible. We could always, you know, start fresh in Universe Mode, like, heading into... Like, we could continue it into 2K23 if we really want to, but I also don't want to alienate a lot of people for not knowing the lore. And I like to start fresh in every year. That's just how I roll at this point. So we're going to have to see how things go. I'm more than happy to do like a my GM because like we didn't do the updated version and we have learned a lot of things since then. And I have done some homework on how to make it a little bit more interesting. Because we tried, we put some cool music out in the background, but you know, it could have been executed a lot better. And I look back on it and like it was, she was dry. She was very dry. And we're going to make it not dry. <laughs> and here we go, people. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I have an idea as to how I want to do my GM differently, so don't you all worry. Oh, boy. Okay, we got Dewdrop going after Liv. 
We got Saray going after EO. Saray's not going after Dewdrop now. We can't see a freaking thing. Oh, dear God, a German suplex into the cover, into the cover, and EO breaks things up. First fall to the finish. Here we go, people. I'm missing part of Monday Night Raw filming this, so this, this goes back to, like, Monday. And we are into the ropes. Yeah, so I'm thinking, okay, we this might come out Friday. Then we have the reaction video on Saturday. Sunday, we could start the new episode. So Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, double upload Saturday. I mean, it could work. I don't know. Or do it another Sunday. Like, we're going to be done with the universe mode by the probably the end of January, if I had to make a safe guess. So, I don't know. Like, we're going to get to WrestleMania. That's that's the plan. It's like, I have the mental roadmap, like, for what I would like to do after. You know what I mean? Like to continue universe mode as much as humanly possible, right? But it's like, I also don't want to alienate a lot of people, like, if we were to continue into 2K23, right? Right. EO now into the cover with the moonsault. Oh, and Liv whiffs it. We, we, will, we will figure this out at some point. It's just a matter of when I'm going to be able to film these videos and that sort of thing. So, thankfully, like, you know, the holidays are kind of done and over with, and things are a little bit more back to normal, right? So, we're, we're, we're slowly but surely getting into more of a routine and being flexible with it, so that's always nice. Looks like we might have a submission outside the ring, but it's got to be inside the ring. Okay, we just missed something inside the ring, I think. What is happening in this match? Okay, now we're not missing anything inside the ring. Beautiful arm drag right there from Saray to Eo. Eo, huge scoop slam right there of sorts. Beautiful knees to Saray right there. Huge kick from Eo to Saray. Oh boy. Huge counter right there. there go, down goes Liv. Down goes Liv. Oh boy. Gotta see what happens here. Oh. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Liv's going forward here. Huge. Maneuver right there from Liv to Dewdrop. Eo now going right after Liv. Beautiful takedown from Liv Morgan right there. Oh, what a kick from Liv.
Oh, oh, went dark, it went dark. Here we go, scoop slam from EO of sorts of some sort of a slam. EO's going to the top rope now. I think we know what she's going for here. The moonsault connects EO Shirai. Oh, the freaking rope break, man. The freaking rope break. go do drop huge need to live morgan right there i'm trying to follow everything i'm sorry everybody i know i'm missing some stuff i'm sure i'm also trying to keep an eye on the computer to make sure that it doesn't freeze i did catch uh, i i did notice though like in between filmings like that well oh beautiful drop kick right there from eo to do drop i did notice though like i i caught the uh charger or the lack of charger Involved, so that is a thing. Oh boy, oh boy. Looks like Dewdrop might be out. I don't know. Oh, Liv's taking care of Dewdrop. Saray's fighting back against Eo. This is just beyond chaotic at this point. We are here for it. Huge German right there from Saray to Liv. Eo now going in on the offense against Saray right here. Eo. Oh, Saray. All right, Liv just took out Saray, okay. Liv Morgan, what is she up to here? Into the ropes. Oh boy, oh boy. Huge kick right to the back. Saray is back in there now. Let's see what Liv's up to. Huge Hurricane Rana. Well, there goes Saray again. Huge suplex from Dewdrop to live right there. This has just been beyond chaotic. Again, this is why we like to do the elimination ones, because... Oh! Live out of nowhere! Live out of nowhere! Oh, this might be it, this might be it! Oh! Dewdrop broke it up barely, though. Oh, boy. That was close. Now, Dewdrop going in on the cover on Liv. Oh, that was a close one, y'all. That was close. And Liv not looking too good here. Yo's starting to get back up under her feet right here. Huge scoop slam from Scoop Slam from Dewdrop. Oh boy. Yo rolled through into the huge double stomp right there. Huge splash right there from Saray. Eo now, not the time for showboating, Eo. Not the time. Eo Shirai is out of the ring right here. We're down to Saray and Liv. Here in this matchup here, Saray now going in for the cover. Could this be it? Could this be it? Oh, and Liv kicks out. What a main event we're watching, everybody. What a main event. Oh, huge drop kick right there from Saray. And Saray now slowing down the pace a little bit. It's Eo Shirai going after the arm. Oh, Saray. Oh, but Liv with a huge counter. Liv might have it here, but Dewdrop's getting back up on her feet. Oh, Saray with the counter. Saray, huge move right there. We can't see anything. And Dewdrop right there to break things up. Do drop right into the corner goes Saray here tonight. Beautiful suplex from Do Drop right there. Now Saray is now back inside the back outside the ring rather. And live. Yeah. 
Again, this is this is why it's a video game. Nothing makes sense. Into the cover, into the cover. Yo, you're showboating. Oh, but Liv. Liv might have something here, y'all. Oh, or not. Oh, boy. Well, we had a bit of a jump cut because of the fact that, well... The freaking recording froze and we lost the ending. But, yeah. Live beat EO. And that's how we got to this point. So either way around, thank you all so much for tuning in. Apologies for ruining the ending. because Well, it's not my fault, it's the recording's fault. But still, I should have been paying a little bit more attention. But either way around, let me know what you all thought about this episode of Wonderful NXT. we got four episodes to go until WrestleMania, everybody. This is going to be great. Th this is going to be great. I don't know where this is all going to go. I don't know what's going to happen after WrestleMania. We're just going to have to we're just going to have to find out, right? Right. We're in this together. So on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will see you all in the next one.